Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Reading Nook. Let's get started. Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. Chloe jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were four green speckled frogs. Gloop, gloop. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. Declan jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were three green speckled frogs. Gloop, gloop. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. Cameron jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were three, two green speckle frogs. Gloop, gloop. Two green and speckle frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. Tegan jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there was one green speckle frog. Gloop, gloop. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. We all jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were no more green speckled frogs. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Reading Nook. I hope you guys are having a great day so far and you're ready for some stories and some singing. So let's get started. You ready to sing another song? Here we go. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the trees. These little children are asking me to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Wonderful. All right. You guys ready for our first book? Here we go. We're going to read today. It's a book called The Wish Tree. And it's read by permission with Scholastic Canada. Here we go. Charles wanted to find a wish tree. His brother said, there is no such thing. His sister said, there is no such thing. But Charles said, what do you think, Boggin? And Boggin thought, surely there was such a thing. So the next morning, Charles and his Boggin set forth. His brother said, bring a map. His sister said, don't forget a compass. But Charles and Boggin were already well on their way into the woods. La di da di di da di da di da, sang Charles. Whoosh, sang Boggin. They had the whole day ahead of them, the whole day to find a wish tree. Up, up to the top of the hill they climbed, and down, down a frosty meadow they slid. Where went, uh, where Charles went, Boggin followed, and where Boggin went, Charles followed. Charles and Boggin did not see the wish tree, but they did see Squirrel, who was puzzling over how to get some hazelnuts to his house. Hold on tight. La di da di di, la di da di da, sang Charles, and whoosh, sang Boggin. So long, squirrel. Slow, slow through the snow they went, and hush, hush, past the bear's den they crept. Where Charles went, Boggin followed, and where Boggin went, Charles followed. They did not see a wish tree anywhere, but they did see Beaver, who was busy gathering birch wood to bring to his lodge. Let's go. La di da di di, la di da di da, sang Charles. Whoosh, sang Boggin. Oh, bye bye, Beaver. Slide, glide across the ice they slipped, 
past a few logs and around a bend. When Charles went, Boggin followed, and where Boggin went, Charles followed. The wish tree was nowhere to be found, but they did find Fox, who was late getting berries for her burrow. Load them up! la di da dee dee la dee da dee da sang Charles, and whoosh, sang Boggin. Keep warm, Fox. Now they had less than half the day ahead of them, less than half the day to find a wish tree. We may need to move a little faster, Boggin, said Charles. Charles and Boggin were moving very slowly now. Their shadows were growing longer. The whole day was almost behind them. Boggin, Charles said, I am tired and I cannot search any longer. Shh, whispered Boggin. When Charles awoke, it was snowing. It was snowing on squirrel, and it was snowing on beaver, and it was snowing on fox, and it was snowing on everyone. For a moment, Charles could not see through the falling snow, but then he said, Oh, look! See, Boggin, said Charles, just as we thought. And Boggin said, Whoosh! Charles wrote his wish on a piece of paper and tied it around the branch of the wish tree. The snow was falling more gently now. The animals had prepared a night feast with hazelnut souffle, a pot of birch tree, a birch tea, and a biscuit made of berries. Charles and Boggins celebrated with their friends until it was time to be on their way. The moon was glowing bright. la dee da dee dee la dee da dee da sang Charles, and whoosh, sang Boggin, all the way home. The end. Oh, I like that story. That was a nice one. I don't think I've ever read that one before. And do you guys like that story? I always love it when you let me know, so please comment down below if you like that story as well. You guys ready for another song? Here we go. A peanut butter sandwich made with jam. One for me and one for Nikki Brignall. Peanut butter sandwich made with jam. Stick, stick, sticky, stick, stick. Oh, I can think of witches good and bad, but the best witch that I ever had was a peanut butter sandwich made with jam. Yum, yum, yummy, yum, yum. A peanut butter sandwich made with jam. One for me and one for Nikki Brignall. Peanut butter sandwich made with jam. Stick, stick, sticky, stick, stick. Yum, yum, yummy, yum, yum. Beautiful, guys. I love it when you sing along with me. All right, you guys ready? We're going to sing one more song before our last book, and this one, I'm going to need your help. All right, so I'm going to need you to, to quack like Mother Duck. You guys ready to try? Here we go. Five little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother Duck said, you guys ready? It's your part. Quack, 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 quack. Can you try it a little bit louder? Not too loud, you don't need to yell, but let's try it a little bit louder, you ready? Mother Duck said, quack, 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 but only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother Duck said, quack, 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 but only three little ducks came back. Three little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother Duck said, quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother Duck said, quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. <gasps> Oh, one little duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother Duck said, quack, 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 
but none of the five little ducks came back. So sad Mother Duck went out one day over the hills and far away. <laughs> And Mother Duck said, quack, 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 quack. And all of the five little duckies came back. Hooray! That was wonderful, guys. I really like that song. All right, are you guys ready? Oh, my Uncle Don is here. Hi, Uncle Don. It's great to see you. All right, you guys ready for our last story? We are going to read a book called Number One Sam by Greg Pizzoli and read it, of course, by permission, from Scholastic Canada. So here we go. You ready? Oh, I like this book. Sam was number one. He was the number one in speed, and he was the number one at turns. And he was the number one at finishing races in the number one spot. So... On the day of the big race, Sam wasn't worried one bit. He pulled up to the start, wished good luck to his best friend Maggie, and revved his engine, and... Vroom! They were off! Sam zoomed up to speed and nailed all the turns. He and Maggie were neck and neck as they headed for the finish line, and then... Sam lost. Everyone was cheering for Maggie. Everyone except Sam. Sam couldn't lose. He was the best at speed. He was the best at turns. And he was the best at being number one. The night before the next race, Sam didn't sleep one wink. At the starting line, Sam was quiet. The cars lined up, the engines revved, and Sam didn't say anything to Maggie. He was too nervous. In fact, he was so distracted that he missed the starting flag. <sighs> Maggie and the other racers had a huge lead, but Sam quickly gained on them. He was driving his best and soon passed to the front. Sam would be number one again. But then he saw them. Five chicks crossing the track. He was headed right for them. Sam could steer around the chicks, but would the other racers see them in time? <laughs> Scream! Sam slammed on his brakes. He scurried the chicks to safety as the other racers flew by. Sam finished in last place, the chicks thanking him the whole way. Oh, you're my hero, my idol. Could you slow down? I have to make a pit stop. Sam was disappointed. As he approached the finish line, he heard people cheering for the other racers. But as he got closer, he realized they were cheering for him. And even though he lost another race, his friends still thought he was number one. The end. There we go. That's a really fun song. All right. Are you guys ready for our goodbye song? Here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Oh, the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier will be with Kendall and Sophie and Nikki and Eric. The more we get together, the happier will be. Thank you so very much for stopping by today, guys. 
I hope that you have the best day ever. And from my family to yours, we love you and we will see you again tomorrow. Bye.